Hello grade fours. Today we're going to learn about number sentences with addition and with subtraction. Okay, so the textbook on page 10 tells us that if you see a blank there, it's asking you to fill that blank in with a number. Okay, so for an example, it says find the value of blank and you have got 6 plus 3. So all you have to do is work out what 6 plus 3 is and fill your answer in the blank. So when you write your answer in your textbook, you're going to write, say, number one in the margin, and you're going to write the whole question out. Six plus three equals. Now you can use your fingers. You can show six fingers plus another one, two, three, and then count the number of fingers, and you should get nine. Okay. If it helps you to draw six sticks, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus another three, six, seven, eight, nine, and count all of them all together, you'll get nine. Or it does help to practice doing this in your head and learn six plus three is nine, six plus two is eight, six plus one is seven. Okay, so that does help. So a number sentence is just like the math way of writing numbers down with the question on the left and the answer on the right. Okay, if you have to do a subtraction one, so let's have a look at this one. You have got 43 minus 43. Okay, and you would write your answer on the right hand side. So if it has a blank, that means that you have to fill that blank in with something. Now remember, if you have one and you take away that same number one, you're left with zero. If you have two and you take away two, you're left with zero. If you've got a hundred minus a hundred, your answer is zero. Okay, now this last one, 12 plus something equals 15. Now, so for these ones, it is saying if you have 12 and you add something on, and you get 15, What? how much do you add on to get from 12 to 15? Okay, so how do I get from 12 to 15? Now you can go in your head and you can go 12, 13, 14, 15. And you know that 12 plus 3 is 15. Okay, or you can draw 12 sticks and see, or um, yeah, go draw 12 sticks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now I want to get to 15. So I know everything from here. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So everything there is what I've added on. I've got three sticks. Okay. Again, it's also good just to learn your number bonds off by heart. So remember, if the blank is on the right-hand side, you have to add to get it. If you're subtracting, you have to subtract to get it. If the blank is here, you have to add on or subtract in order to get the missing number. Okay, for example, if I had to say 12 minus blank is equal to 10, you then have to minus in your head. And so what is the difference between 12 and 10? 12, 11, 10. So the answer would be 2. So 12 minus 2 is 10. You would have to fill those blocks in. So all you have to do for there is write those answers. Please write the question and the answer because it's a number sentence. And then just for question 7, you have to write your answer in words, in cursive. And um, yeah, just try and be as creative as you can. And look at all of your answers for question 6 and see, ooh, have I noticed a pattern? Are they all the same number? Are they different? What happens when I plus and minus the same number? Okay, everyone, I hope that you have a great um, time doing that and have a great weekend and hopefully see you on Monday. Bye.